Hello everyone. To understand any material in better way, we need to understand mechanical properties of that particular material. Mechanical properties is something which is uh, which is revealing the physical response of any material under external stimuli. So these mechanical properties are different types such as strength, elasticity, stiffness, ductility, toughness, resilience malleability, hardness, creep, putty and plasticity. These are the main material property, mechanical property of any material. So very first we understand uh, very important mechanical properties strength. Strength is something which is enables a metal to resist the permanent mechanical deformation under the load. This mechanical property opposes the deformation or breakdown any material in the presence of external forces or load. The any material is considered as stronger it means that material can take a, a much amount of load compared to uh, its uh, um, compared to any of different material or we can say suppose we have these two metal metal piece or alloy alloy, alloy piece so suppose we apply an force on this particular material so this material can deform up to this particular point so we can say this material is deformed this much but similarly suppose this is another material and we apply a force on this particular material and this material is deformed much larger compared to the previous one and here we can say this material is deformed this much of amount so we can say this particular material is much stronger compared to second material because this is deformed lesser. This strength of material is better understand by understanding this stress versus strain curve or we can say engineering stress versus engineering strain curve. This particular strain stress curve stress strain curve is uh, is, is, is can is can be recorded when we uh, when we can test any of the material uh, with the help of any instrument for example tensile machine or uh, compressive uh, compression test machine or hardness so uh, the uh, that in uh, with that particular machine we will record the physical response of the material this is the example of the uh, material tested with the universal tensile testing machine so this kind of uh, curve is generally we obtain or similar kind of curve we obtain and it's uh, the nature of this curve is depends on the material to material so suppose we have uh, this curve is generally uh, observed uh, in case of steel so here we can say the material is showing first its response is very straight line on this stress strain curve up to this particular point so up to this particular point this material is showing its uh, straight uh, showing the response is straight after this particular point some curvature started coming and at this particular point material is started started dipping down so uh, and dipping down and it will reaches up to somewhere here and from here again this material is started showing the going in the up direction and it will reach something here and from this particular point it is going started going down so these particular things is uh, is telling something about the response of the material or you can say physical response of the material under the applied load so uh, first point here uh, as it is written as yield strength so what is yield strength yield strength means this material perform very uniformly up to this particular point from uh, up to this particular point and after this particular point the material is not responding uniformly so uniformly uh, the uniform uh, uniform response of the material means when we apply the load on the material suppose this particular point we have applied load x and up to this particular point we applied load y so uh, the, when the material is loaded up to this particular point with the load y so with the load y material showing their response uh, very um, uniform it means when we up unload the material it will again return back to the its initial position here so we can say up to this particular point material will what material can be regained its original shape so this particular point is known as yield, uh, yield strength or and this particular point is uh, is known as yield point yield point is something suppose this is the yield point yield point is uh, after some uh, after uh, after taking some curve here this point is known as yield point yield point means uh, the material is showing their response very up to the straight uh, straight line up to this particular point uh, up, um, where we can say that material is perfectly showing straight line this point is known as proof resilience point 
but little bit ahead of this uh, proof resilience point this is known as the yield point why it is considered the yield point because the uh, yield point because uh, yield point is uh, is 0.2 percent offset to the this particular this particular line 0.2 percent so this particular point is known as the yield point after uh, this yield point this yield point is here somewhere after this particular yield point material is started dipping it is because of the yield point phenomena and it is uh, reaching here this can be discussed in more detail in our uh, upcoming videos about the more about the uh, yield, uh, uh, tensile behavior of the material but here just uh, in a brief we will try to explain the strength of the material so from this particular point material again started going uh, taking more load uh, like we can say here z or up to this particular point suppose it is uh, known as a or u this particular point is the point where material is uh, taking maximum uh, stre uh, maximum stress so this point is known as the ultimate uh, ultimate tensile strength or we can say it's uts after this particular point necking is started into the material necking means suppose this is the specimen this is the uh, general shape of the tensile specimen and after this particular point the material is started necking means neck kind of shape is started to appear so uh, this is known as necking necking phenomena so this after this particular point the material is started necking and this kind of behavior is material is showing and it will reach up to some point uh, at where the material going to be fracture so this is known as a fracture point there is uh, two uh, two uh, important uh, term here we can uh, we can uh, we, i want to uh, let you know when the material reaches up to the uh, uts point so the material deformation from 0 to 0 to up to this point this is known as the uniform elongation uniform elongation and when material reaches up to the fracture point so up to this point the deformation of the material is known as the total deformation we can say it total deformation now two very important term uh, is no uh, is is something in this particular tensile uh, curve is known as the toughness and resilience this toughness and resilience is bas nothing basic nothing but it is the area under the curve of this uh, tensile curve when we record uh, when we record the area under the curve up to the uh, up to the fracture point so this particular uh, area is known as the toughness and when material is reached up to the elastic limit or we can say uh, yield point so up to this particular point when we take the area under the curve it is known as something as resilience so this is the difference between two one is uh, one is the uh, total up to the fracture point and one is up to the elastic point now toughness so uh, as we understand the it is the uh, energy absorbed by the uh, uh, absorbed by the material up to the fracture point or we can say area under the curve uh, up to the fracture point so this that is toughness but by definition we can say that the ability of material to absorb energy that is area under the curve and it gets plastically deformed without fracture means before fracture or you can say up to the fracture that point that particular point is very important that is known as the toughness the numerical value is determined by the amount of energy per unit volume or its uh, unit is like joule per meter square now second point is resilience by definition resilience is the property due to which the material can store energy without having permanent deformation as i already explained up to the elastic point this is the elastic point up to the elastic point or you can say yield point the energy absorbed is something known as the resilience before uh, after this point the material started deforming permanently or we can say this is something plastic deformation started from after the yield point so before that the energy absorbed under the curve is uh, known as resilience now ductility ductility means it is the property of a solid material which indicates how easily material gets deformed under tensile stress or we can say uh, the material how uh, suppose this is the uh, stress strain curve how material is deformed how easily material is deformed up to its uh, anywhere in the points like it is uh, either it is fracture point or up to which point the material get, uh, get deformed so this is something known as the ductility this is something known as the ductility of the material 
ductility is often categorized by the ability of material to get stretched in, uh, into a wire or by pulling uh, by pulling or drying that means suppose you have this particular kind of block suppose and you apply a load on this particular block so this this material is stretched like this so you can say this is the original shape and this is the stretched one so we can say this material is stretched up to this particular uh, point this uh, this amount so we can say the material is this much ductile after this point maybe material can break or anything happen so we can say this material is ductile this much amount so this is the ductility ductility is, ductility is basically calculated by the final length of the uh, material or final elongation of the material uh, minus original elongation divided by the original elongation and when we apply, uh, multiply it by, with 100 we can calculate the percentage elongation means suppose this is the material this is the original length and suppose after deformation due to applied load it's elongated up to this particular point this is final uh, final length so final length minus original length it is the difference of these two points this is lf minus l naught and when it divide it by l naught so this is known as the elongation and when we <laughs> multiply it with the 100 it will automatically convert into the percentage elongation or also the percentage reduction in area or we can say the, uh, the cross section area of this particular material suppose this is known as the a naught and this is the a f so difference between these two again giving the uh, the difference area and when it divide by the original cross section area and then multiplied by 100 it is also giving the same ductility but in terms of area that is known as, known as the percentage reduction in area now the next very important term terminology is brittleness brittleness is something which is the property of a material property of the material uh, that fracture when subjected to stress means uh, at which particular point when we apply the stress to the material uh, material is stressed and up to which point uh, the material is going to fracture that is something known as the brittleness brittleness is basically characterized by the deformation uh, characterized by the little deformation or poor capacity uh, poor capacity to resist impact and vibration of load and high compressive strength or uh, and low tensile strength Basically, these are the uh, terminology by which we can uh, we can say the material is brittle or not. This we understand better in the subsequent slides. Here we can uh, here we can see when we compare the ductile material with the brittle material uh, with the help of stress 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 strain curve. So uh, as we here already discussed, characterized by the little uh, little deformation. So in the in the So in the uh, graph, or uh, the graph also, we can say this particular curve is deformed very little. We can say this is very lit, uh, very li small deformation happened. But uh, in the blue curve, we can say deformation is very high. Deformation is very high. So we can say here the ductility is material uh, ductility in the material is very high. So we can say this particular material is ductile in nature, and the and where the deformation is uh, uh, deformation is happened very less. We can say the material is brittle in nature which is this particular uh, which is revealed by this particular curve so this is the difference between ductility and uh, brittleness now the next very important terminology is elasticity elasticity is the property of a solid material which allows it to restore its shape after external load removed it means suppose with the help of stress 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 strain curve again we can understand suppose this is the curve what we have achieved when the material is uh, un unload Suppose we unload the material after reaching this particular point, material will again uh, 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 re back to its original shape. So we can say material is elastic, el material is showing elasticity. But after this particular point, when when you uh, when we unload the material, it will not uh, 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 it will not reach it uh, to its original shape. Rather, it will follow the same uh, same slope and reach up to something here. It means suppose this is the material when we apply load up to this particular point. So suppose this is particular number point number one and this is point number two. When we apply the load, it will become like this, and it will reaches up to this particular point one. So uh, when we unload the material again, it will become like this. But 
in case of uh, point uh, in case of point number 2 when we apply the load and material reaches up to this particular point 2 when we unload the material it will not going back to this particular shape rather it will reach something here here only so the after removing the load material is like this so we can say the material is elastic up to this particular point only but after this the material is not elastic so when it restore its shape we can say the material is uh, restore its shape so we can say the material is uh, elasticity so this is the elasticity of the material similarly the plasticity as we explained in the last slide here when material is not going to uh, uh, restore its shape so after this particular point this is something known as the permanent deformation so when permanent deformation come into the picture we can say the it is it is known as plasticity the property of a solid substance so solid substance that allows to keep deformation shape even when uh, external load is removed so we can we can say we can clearly see here keep its deformation deformed shape that means material is not completely restore its shape rather it little bit uh, permanently deformed like here we can see material is not reaches up to its original shape rather it, it is reached only up to this particular point so this is the permanent deformation happens so this is this this phenomena is known as the plasticity one more important term is stiffness stiffness is the material uh, it is the measure of the materials ability to return its original form after being acted on external after after being acted on an external force here the terminology a very important terminology is external force so suppose this is some ball when we apply any force to this material so uh, material is try, suppose and, and material uh, this ball is uh, take its shape like this so when we remove this load again uh, again uh, again this material will come into its original shape but how much load we apply to uh, to make its shape like this so that amount of force is generally is uh, uh, we can measure and it is something uh, defined as stiffness the next very important uh, terminology is malleability malleability is the property of a solid material which indicates how easily material gets deformed under compressive stress suppose this is the material and we keep applying any force on this material repeatedly so material get stretched get stretched or in another term we can say material is permanently deforming under the compressive loading so this uh, this uh, so this kind of uh, uh, deformation behavior permanent deformation behavior without any failure or fracture material is going to deform permanently uh, under the compressive load this is defined this terminology is basically defined by the malleability or this property we can say as a malleability malleability is often uh, categorized by the ability of material to form in form of thin sheet by hammering or rolling like here uh, like here we can uh, we can uh, already uh, discussed like we apply the compressive force by using any hammer by using any hammer to this particular material and we convert this uh, small amount of uh, material into thin sheet uh, by permanently deform so this is known as the uh, this material is malleable in nature without when it uh, without when it is permanently deformed without any fracture or uh, failure so this is the understand by the property of uh, property uh, termed as malleability now another very important terminology is hardness 